Hi, I'm Jason from LiveMusic.nz, based in Wellington, New Zealand. I've been playing music at people's weddings since I was in my early 20s, and I'm still doing it now, so I've been doing that for over 20 years, and I still really enjoy it, really love it. Weddings are great occasions, awesome celebrations, they have an atmosphere like nothing else. Live music should be a part of your wedding. If it's done right, it creates a great atmosphere. Some people might be thinking, should I just play my iPod? Should I maybe get a DJ? I'll say this. Nobody who's booked a great wedding band ever looks back and says, man, I really just wished I'd booked that DJ. You know, live music adds something much more special to an event than people realize. But when they have it, and when it's catered to their needs, it's absolutely magic. A great wedding band costs less than you'd think, and to have live music with four or five performers, professional musicians that have all worked hard at their craft, they come in and do a great job for you because they love what they're doing. It's really worth it. Um, a wedding typically has various phases. Now everyone's wedding is different, but what I've observed is certain things tend to happen at most weddings. Now your wedding, you may not want this to happen, you may not want the other thing to happen, but at least one of these things will happen, I'm sure of it. There will be a ceremony. People will arrive before the bride in most cases. It can take quite a long time for the bride. Sometimes she's late. Typically, it's traditional for the bride to be late. So while that's happening, it's good to just have some live acoustic music going on to create a pretty sort of ambience. Just something... Something nice and light and suiting the day. It's nice to have a little bit of flute or a saxophone with the guitar sometimes. Could be vocals or just instrumental, it doesn't really matter, you know, you can choose it, it's your day. When the bride arrives, she'll walk down the aisle. There is a traditional bridal march, but as I'm noticing, more weddings shying away from that and doing songs that are meaningful for the couple. Um, for example, Have I Told You Lately That I Love You is one that I hear quite often done at weddings at that moment while she walks down the aisle. That's the... Have I told you lately that I love you? Do you know that there's no one above you? You fill my heart with gladness. You take away my sadness. You ease my troubles. That's what you do. And there's many, many songs that can be used um, for the walking down the aisle, but I suggest picking something that you really like, something romantic and uplifting, and people will remember it. The ceremony will take place, rings will be exchanged usually, there's a kiss usually, and we have something called signing of the register where the couple and the celebrant will step away and sign some papers. It's a little formality. Um, it's good to have some acoustic music going on there or a song that's particularly relevant to the occasion. So you can choose a song that you love, something pretty, something romantic. It's a good time to do that. Now, after that, we have a space in the day. Usually the couple goes off, get their photos taken. People reconvene at the function center or home where the reception is going to take place. And we'll have a couple of hours of just drinks and nibbles, waiting for, the tur for them to turn up again for the reception. Um, at the drinks and nibbles, I recommend jazz or solo acoustic guitar, um, but something a little bit more festive, a little bit more lively. Um, jazz trio or jazz quartet is perfect in my view, but you can, um, you can have anything. You can have a contemporary pop group. There's lots you could do there. Um, but a bit of jazz might sound like this. All of me. Why not take all of me? Can't you see I'm no good without you? Take my arms, I'll never use them. Take my lips, I won't lose them. Your goodbyes left me with eyes that cry. How can I go on, dear, without you? You took the part. That once was my home, so why not take all?
all of me. So just uh, up-tempo, bouncy, light stuff. Happy music is what you want for that time. Now, after that phase, people will go inside to the dining area, they'll take their seats, and the reception will take place. There'll be a lot of food, there will be speeches, they'll clear the food away, there'll be dessert, they'll clear all that away, and by the time you get to it, it's usually 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, catering tends to run a bit late, um, but we will have a first dance on most occasions. If the couple isn't that comfortable with dancing alone, the spotlight on them, they could choose to have the whole uh, family or the whole bridal party get up and dance with them. That's not a bad thing to do either. A good first dance should be romantic, it should be memorable, uh, and it should be simple. It would be something that people can remember, something that people can feel comfortable with. Um, Moondance is a great first dance song. Uh, you to Me Are Everything, Lovely Day by Bill Withers, Love is in the Air, um, Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud, absolutely beautiful. Uh, if you want to go classic, maybe Cheek to Cheek or Fly Me to the Moon. Other requests I've done, Butterfly Kisses, Chasing Cars, Truly Madly Deeply. The list goes on. There's some really wonderful songs out there. The dancing will continue. At some point, the bride and groove may choose to exit before everybody else, often around 10 o'clock or 10.30. They're tired, they've had a big day, it's time for them to head off on their honeymoon. So we like to do a farewell song for that. Um, Stand By Me is a nice example, a song that you can do for that if, uh, if you don't know it. It's... When the night it comes And the land is dark And the moon is the only light you'll see And the chorus goes Darling, darling, stand by me Whoa, stand by me Stand by me, stand by me It's one of those good cross-generational songs A lot of people know it It's a bonding moment We send them away, we bid them farewell And it's very, very happy People cheer um, so the band will then play something energetic, something funky, dancing will carry on till maybe 11, maybe 12, just depends on how long you're allowed to have the venue. Um, but like I say, everything is different, every wedding is different. At LiveMusic.nz, we want to make the music work for you. That's our priority. So please email me, jason at LiveMusic.nz, for suggestions and tips. I'm happy to talk to you. Uh, we can look at what you need. I want to help you make your wedding awesome. I'm Jason Wilcox. Thanks for your time and have a great wedding.